Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update to Minecraft 1.14. Now, as you see here, it says upgrade to 1.13. Well, that's because this is the video on how to upgrade to 1.14. When you go to this page, it'll be 1.14 here. Just want to say that up front because this is how to update to 1.14, the Village and Pillage update. And it looks really, really cool. It just came out today and I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. But first off, I do have mention our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft 1.14 server or a server running any plugins, anything you want to do with Minecraft servers, you can do it at Apex Minecraft Hosting, and you can check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft host to play with your friends, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go. Go to the first link down below. Again, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's just go ahead and jump right on into this. First and foremost, you want to make sure you have the Minecraft launcher downloaded. So if you come to the link here, same link in the description down below, come here. And this is actually a uh, tutorial on how to download the Minecraft launcher. And that's what I would recommend doing. Coming through here, going through this tutorial, click right here to download the Minecraft launcher. It takes you off to this page where you download it. You do need to own Minecraft, obviously. If you've not purchased Minecraft yet, you will need to do that from this website. Just click on store up here, and it walks you through basically purchasing Minecraft. As you can see, buy Minecraft, right there it is. So nevertheless, you do need to do that, and then you can go ahead and click download right here. Once you've downloaded it, you will get the Minecraft launcher, which if we minimize our browser, I already have open here. This is what it's going to look like. Now, most likely you can just hit the little green arrow next to the play button and then click on latest release 1.14 and click play. Now, if you don't have latest release 1.14 and you want to play 1.14, no worries. Click the three lines up here in the top right, click on launch options here. And then once you've clicked on launch options, we need to click add new right there. So we click add new. Now you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdown craft.com. Why am I doing that? Oh yeah, because that is our incredible Minecraft server with 1.14 native survival. You shared that right. We have 1.14 native survival. Incredible 1.13 native survival as well. Custom Skyblock. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Right there is the IP. It's also in the bottom left of the screen and in the description down below. It is everywhere, but come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Nevertheless, when you're here, you want to click the next to a version and then just select the release 1.14. See that? Once you click on that, you can change the resolution if you want. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that so you'll be able to, you know, see it once we open the game. Let me go ahead and click save. We want to come back over here to the news tab, then click the little green arrow next to the play button here, and then we want to select the play.breakdowncraft.com profile we created. Right there it is. Click on that and then click the play button. Now we'll go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14. It's that simple, unless you're having some issues. Now, if Minecraft is crashing on startup and you have the normal Minecraft launcher, the first thing I would recommend doing is just simply reinstalling the Minecraft launcher, right? Just go to apps and features and uninstall Minecraft and then reinstall Minecraft. Very, very simple process that, and that's gonna fix it most of the time but sometimes it won't. So what do you do if you've tried that and it's still not working? It's just everything you try, it's not working when it comes to getting 1.14 Minecraft open. Well, the first thing you can do is actually delete it without using apps and features because when you delete Minecraft using the like apps and features section, right? When you, when you come here and delete this, you're going to have a different experience than if you actually manually delete it. So to do that, you want to click on the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen. It's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that and then type in Run, R-U-N. You'll then see this Run Desktop app here. Go ahead and click on that. And in the Run Desktop app, type percent app data percent percent app data percent and hit enter then you have this this is your roaming folder and in here you have dot minecraft now you could just delete dot minecraft but i wouldn't if you want to keep any of your worlds what i would do is come in here and delete everything in here but the saves folder and the screenshots folder right so everything but saves and screenshots gets deleted now i'm not going to do that because i'm not having issues running it but that's honestly what i would do i would make sure you leave the screenshots and the saves folder and then delete everything else because nothing else is really necessary here if you're running mods on previous versions you might want to leave that but other than that everything can get deleted now if you do that 
go open up the Minecraft launcher. You'll still be able to open up the Minecraft launcher. If you've deleted it with absent features, you may need to re-download it and then play 1.14. Now, last but not least, if you've tried all of that and it doesn't work, go to the description of this video and you should see this. This is the how to download and install the Java development kit. It'll just say download Java. You may need Java in order to run Minecraft. The Minecraft launcher does have Java built in, but sometimes it tries to use your PC's Java and if it's not up to date, it won't work. So come here and uh, download this and it'll basically be good to go. So you can download all of that. If you do that and it still doesn't work, you may just need to fix all the jar files on your computer. And to do that, we do have a program called the Jar Fix, which you can go and run. Link is in the description and this article shows you how to run it. It's helped over 40,000 people run it at the time I'm making this video, so it'll help you out. Nevertheless, at this point, again, to play Minecraft 1.14, all you need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. The download link is in the description. And then once you're here, click the little green arrow next to the play button, click on 1.14, and then click play and it'll launch right on up. It is a pretty simple process and I am very, very excited for this update actually. We are bringing it to play.breakdowncraft.com in big force. It is absolutely incredible. So come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the universe. 1.13.2 survival, 1.14 survival, custom skyblock. Come play with us. If you're looking for any of that, you will absolutely love it. Over 100 players online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give the video a thumbs up if it helps you out. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I am out. Peace.